afternoon. My name is Uldis and in this short video I will show you how to install OVA on your VMware workstation. So go to our site eve-ng.net, go to downloads and download uh, one of the from one of the links our OVA image. So I already downloaded from here. So it's this process is done and let's start going our VMware workstation, in my case it is version 12, but it can be 11. Open virtual machine and find where you downloaded your our EVE Community Edition OVA image. Open and import. I'm going to pause, should not take a long time. VM machine is imported, but before we start we need to little bit tune it before. By default I assign it in my uh, so when you will import, you will see that memory is assigned at six gigabyte, uh, gigabyte, and the processors are four. So, edit the virtual machine settings, and as you see, I can afford my my desktop PC in this case, and I can afford more. Please give as much as you can. The memory memory is good, and memory is a performance of the Eve. Next processors. In my case, I can give processors eight one. In a laptops, usually will be four and one. So the settings for laptops is four one. For for higher higher end laptops, it will it could be eight one. And it is mandatory that you are checking the virtualized Intel VTX EPT EPT option. It is absolutely mandatory because if you will not check this box the half of nodes inside of the EVE like VASA, VIOS will simply not work. This sub-virtualization is mandatory. Just remember it. Network adapter. For laptop users I recommend to use NAT and assign a static IP address. DHCP will work but makes makes sometimes makes tri tricky tricky things when your EVE machine for example is switched off but IP address can be taken fire by other hosts. So I recommend to use an NAT adapter here for laptop users and a static IP. For desktop users if you are pretty sure that you will not change the IP address and, and you can assign some IP address from your home network. So I'm going to show how to do it with a NAT adapter. Settings done and uh, when we create a TIF community edition it is created on to support earlier versions like version 10, 11. So I'm going upgrade machine for version 12. Auto virtual machine, next, finish, done. And we are ready to start first time your machine. Going to pause. So, uh, machine is booted first time and you we can start to configure a static IP address. You can see it, it got IP address from my DHCP, which is uh, 192.168.255.2. 128. So this IP address is gotten, is, is gotten by DHCP. So I'm going to log in first time, root, and password is Eve. The IP setup wizard appears. So typing password again, Eve. Even you don't see it is there. Repeat Eve. Oh. Okay. Uh, host name I'm leaving as it is. Enter. DNS domain name you can change per your needs, but I'm leaving as it is. And here I'm going to assign a static IP address. So arrow down and the mark with the spacebar. And as as we know that my network is 192.168.255, and I will give one IP address which will be static for my needs and Eve. So I'm giving to let's say 40. Mask is 24. And the big mistake people are doing actually when typing here wrong gateway. The correct gateway if your VMware machine settings or installation is by default it is dot two. 
Dot 1 is your native host where the VMware workstation installed, but Dot 2 is a NAT adapter which acting like a gateway and DNS server for all VM machines. Just remember, not 1, but 2. Dot 2 is correct. So I'm repeating DNS is 2 and one free, free uh, DNS server IP like or 8. Okay, uh, if you need to configure uh, the proxy, yes, but I will not show in this video how to do it, it's very simple. And that's it, VM machine is going to auto reboot and will assign this IP address. My new installation is booted and we can we can check and verify if it is correct. So I'm going to uh, login root and if and let's ping. The name ping is absolutely mandatory as well for future use when you will need to update or upgrade your if machine. So name it access to the Internet is a must. Just remember. So Mike, my, my settings are correct and we can check in the web if I can access now 192.168.255.40 admin and the password is Eve. So done and happy lobbying. Thank you for viewing.